Joint pain could really be bothersome. Are you tired of taking painkillers which could have long-term effects in your body? In this video, I will teach you three joint supplements to help you effectively manage your joint pain, protect all the other joints in your body, and hopefully to give you a better option as opposed to constantly taking painkillers. Greetings to everyone. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, please click the subscribe and the bell button below for you to be updated with my weekly health topics that you and your family can benefit from. Here are the three best supplements that can help you with your joint pain. Number one, omega-3 fatty acids. They are a family of important fats that you must obtain from your diet since your body cannot produce it on its own. Two of the most important omega-3 fatty acids are EPA and DHA, which gives you its anti-inflammatory benefits. The American Heart Association recommends that you eat fish that are high in omega-3 like salmon, mackerel, sardines, and tuna at least two times a week or supplement with omega-3 if you cannot do so. Because of the anti-inflammatory benefits of omega-3, it is good for your joints. In fact, the Journal of Clinical Rheumatology published that omega-3 have been studied in people with rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, and osteoarthritis for the past 30 years. If you supplement with omega-3 for 12 weeks, you will notice an improvement with your joint pain and morning stiffness which can be a good alternative as opposed to taking painkillers in treating chronic joint pain. Taking omega-3 is not only beneficial for your joints, it can help reduce your risk of having heart attack and stroke, lower your blood pressure, prevent plaque formation in your arteries, and can protect you from having irregular heart rhythm. 10 grams of omega-3 daily containing 0.5 to 4.6 grams of EPA and 0.2 to 3 grams of DHA will be good for you. It is best to drink omega-3 with a meal to increase its absorption and take it in the evening since joint stiffness is usually worse in the morning. Taking it in the evening may also improve your sleep. Number 2. Glucosamine and Chondroitin they are two of the most commonly used supplements for joint pain worldwide. Both are natural components of your cartilage that acts to cushion your bones, preventing them from rubbing each other. Like your omega-3, glucosamine and chondroitin have anti-inflammatory properties. It protects your cartilage and can slow down the wearing of cartilage for people with osteoarthritis. Although research on these supplements had been varied due to different study designs and supplement types used, a World Health Organization review on glucosamine found that it can relieve you with your knee pain caused by arthritis. It has also been found to be as effective as the commonly used painkiller silicoxib in reducing stiffness, swelling, and pain. The Annals of Rheumatic Diseases also agreed with this because they found that a combination of glucosamine plus chondroitin has the same effect as silicoxib in decreasing pain in patients with osteoarthritis in their knees after six months of treatment and can therefore be a good alternative for those who do not want to take painkillers in treating joint pain. Check with your doctor first if you have diabetes and if you are taking blood thinners such as warfarin and comadine because it can interfere with these supplements. Otherwise, it has been proven safe. You can see an improvement of your symptoms after weeks of taking glucosamine and chondroitin. Give it two or three months and check if it had been beneficial for you. Usual dosage is 1,500 mg for glucosamine sulfate and 1,200 for chondroitin. Take it only once a day. But if your body weight is less than 100 pounds, you can have 1,000 mg of glucosamine and 800 mg of chondroitin once a day. This supplement is best taken with a meal and you can take it any time of the day. Number 3. Turmeric 
Turmeric, which is a bright yellow spice found in curry powder, has a primary ingredient called curcuminoids, which can also give you anti-inflammatory benefit to help you with your joint pain. It has been found to be as effective as ibuprofen for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis with fewer gastrointestinal side effects than that caused by painkillers. You can take painkillers if you really need it and take it only for a short period of time then supplement with turmeric for a healthier option. Turmeric is generally safe, but talk to your doctor first if you're also taking medications for hypertension and blood thinners like heparin and comadine for a possible drug interaction. The Arthritis Foundation recommends that people with osteoarthritis should take 500 mg daily. If you have more access to ground turmeric powder and you plan to put it directly into your meals, 500 mg is about one half teaspoon. Bonus conservative tip to help you manage joint pain at home is to use thermotherapy. If your joint pain is over 2 days and there is no swelling, put hot compress for 20 minutes on the affected area prior to exercise to help with the pain and ensure greater movement. After you exercise, put cold compress for 10 minutes. This will prevent you from developing what we call as delayed onset muscle soreness especially if you haven't been exercising for a while. If there is swelling, use cold compress for 10 minutes. This will reduce the inflammation and help you with the pain. Don't put hot compress in an already inflamed joint since it will worsen it. Your diet of anti-inflammatory foods are also very important. Increase your intake of fruits and vegetables and do away with processed foods, carbohydrates, and sweets because this will worsen your joint pain. Those are the three joint supplements that will help you manage joint pain without relying too much on painkillers. It is also very important for you to determine the exact cause of your joint pain, act accordingly, and to take a whole body approach. If you are overweight, start losing some pounds because every pound that you gain would be additional 4 pounds of pressure on your weight-bearing joints such as your hip, your knee, your ankle, and your foot. It is also very important for you to be dedicated in doing your regular exercises because it will strengthen the muscles around your joint, promote circulation, and would improve your ability in doing things independently and pain-free. If you don't know the exact cause of your joint pain, you can click on this link above to help you determine if what you have is rheumatoid or osteoarthritis, which is also very common. The three supplements mentioned in this video would also be very helpful for those people who have gout. This is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find this video helpful. Please click the like button if you do. Please share this video to your friends and family members who are also complaining of joint pain. Which among the three supplements that we have talked today have you tried? Omega-3, glucosamine, and chondroitin or turmeric? Please comment down below as I would love to hear from you. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay healthy and God bless you.